Hi guys, I'm so glad that you are back. So today on our video, we are going to read, <coughs> sorry, another nonfiction book. I know that you've read two nonfiction books so far, one with Mrs. Mensch and I think one with Mr. Keller. So I'm the third one. So we have Pigeon, we've got Ellie, they, they came to visit. Our nonfiction book today is Meet the Meerkat. <coughs> kind of a different name, don't you think? And look, Meerkat Cat without a C. That's, he is not a kind of cat, so don't be confused. He is actually a kind of mongoose. Mongooses do not live in our country. They live in other countries. We'll find out which one later. Now, while I read you this book, it is a nonfiction book but it looks really different because this author drew their own pictures. So instead of taking photographs like most nonfiction books, he drew the pictures. I should say she, because her name is Patricia J. Wynn. Darren Lund is the author. So there will still be facts that you learn about meerkats and there will still be a lot of great pictures, but they will be drawn pictures, so very different. It's also a little different. There is no glossary. There is no index in this one. It's more written like a story, but don't let it fool you. It is a nonfiction book. So let me show you your sheet that you're going to do afterwards before we get started. It's our nonfiction read and learn. So the first thing you're going to have to do is write the book title. And I wrote it down on mine, Meet the Meerkats. You just do it as best you can. Now later, after we're done reading our story, you're going to have to write three things that you learned. And you're going to learn a ton of things. So don't worry, you'll, there'll be lots and lots. But then they want to know one thing you already knew. Now. I'm not sure if Mr. Keller or Mrs. Mensch will talk about this, but the things you already know are called, do you know? It's a really grown up word. It's called your schema. It's stuff you already know about. Like, let me say we're talking about dogs. What do you know about dogs? See, I knew you knew a lot. That is your schema. But meerkats, boy, I don't have a very, very big schema for meerkats. Do you know anything about meerkats? Now, if you don't, that's okay. Just on this line, you will write, I don't know anything, and that's okay. On the bottom is you're going to draw a picture of your favorite part. So this is the sheet we're gonna do after I read the book, and I'll show it to you again afterwards. So let's get started. Meet the meerkat. Look at that. This is kind of a cool page. The illustrator, she showed you what they look like when they run by drawing them in all the different positions. So if you look carefully, you can see what they look like when they're running around. Title page, Meet the Meerkat by Darren Lund, illustrated by Patricia J. Wynn. Not sure how you say her name. Here's another chance for you to see what the meerkats look like when they run. Hello, little animal. What is your name? My name is Little Meerkat. I am a kind of mongoose. Little Meerkat, what do you look like? I am long and thin. I have a pointy face. I am the size of a squirrel. Oh. So they're pretty tiny. Got a picture of a squirrel in your neighborhood. He's standing up, but he's no bigger than a squirrel. He looks a little bigger in the illustration, but they're kind of small. Little meerkat, where do you live? I live in the, whoa, there's a big word. And capital A, that means it's the name of something. Can you look at that word? Try and stretch that word out. Now, I see a smaller chunk. I see a smaller word inside this big word, C-A-N. You guys know that word. That's one of our snap words. Can, you're right. So let's try stretching that. A, fr, can. Hmm. Try saying that a little faster. 
African. Mm, we have to say it a little bit different. How about, what do you think? I think you got it, African. I live in the African desert. I like the hot sun. There he is, laying on a huge mound. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Little meerkat, do you live alone? I live with my brothers and sisters. We all live in the same den. Hey, den, you guys know what a den is. We've talked about that with bears and other animals. So that could be our schema, that's what we know. We know what a den is, so you could write that on your line. What did you know already? You knew what a den was. That would work. Look, their den goes down into the ground. Kind of different than a bear's den. Little meerkat, what do you do all day? In the morning, I warm up in the sun. Then I run with my brothers and sisters to find food. Little meerkat, what do you eat? I eat insects, spiders, and whoa, another big word. Let's get the first two sounds. I see a blend, a C, sk. I see another chunk. There's that O-R. What is that word? Think about it. You're right, or, sk, or. Let's use a picture clue. Do you know what he has in his mouth? Yes, a scorpion. That is what that long word said, scorpions. Okay, he eats insects, spiders, and scorpions. That means he's a carnivore because he eats other animals. I smell them with my nose, then I dig them up with my feet. They have very sensitive noses. They can smell those insects far, far under the ground. Little meerkat, do you make any sounds? I make funny sounds all day long. Cluck, murmur, murmur, beep. And I say, walk, walk, when I see something dangerous. What sound do you think is he making right there? Look at his face. Do you think he is warning people? Or not people, you think he's warning his brothers and sisters? I wonder. Little meerkat, what do you fear? I'm afraid of eagles and jackals. These animals try to eat me. I take turns with my brothers and sisters to watch for danger. There he is, up there. Let's look back and see what does he say when there's danger? Do you remember? Walk, walk. I bet she says a lot louder though than I do. He's got to warn him. Ooh, there is that fierce jackal way in the background. Little meerkat, when do you sleep? I return to my den just before dark. Oh, and there's all of his brothers and sisters. Good night, little meerkat. Look how they sleep all snuggled together. So this book has some more extra facts at the end. I'll read them for you. Meerkats do not like cold mornings. They're most active during the warm part of the day. Remember that meerkat who was laying on that big mound? That's what he was doing, warming up. There's not much food where meerkats live. They have to travel far to find enough to eat. Because look, what do you see a lot of? Sand, yep. Not a lot of places for them to find their food. Meerkats live in groups of 10 or more. They like to be around other meerkats. They care for other meerkats who are sick or hurt. They sometimes even hug each other. Oh, that is very sweet. I bet Pigeon, do you like that? Pigeon says yes. Pigeon very much like that book. What do you think, Mabel? Do you like that? Oh, I think Mabel wants to give Meerkat a hug. You stay there, Mabel. No hugging right now. All right, let's look at our sheet that we're gonna work on. I'm gonna put Mabel over here. Lay down there, Mabel. So again, the title, Meet the Meerkats. Three words. You guys can stretch meerkats or try and listen and remember that cat. You know how to spell cat? But in meerkat, it's a K this time. There's that double E, meerkats. I bet you can remember that. Now, um, name write three things you learned. 
you could write about what they eat. Do you remember the scorpions, the insects? You could write where they live. You know that one in those dens. You could write that they make funny sounds all day long. You could write anything you liked from the book. And then one thing you already knew. So if you didn't know anything, that's okay. You can put down, I did not know anything. Or you could write about the word den, that you know what a den is. And then a picture of your favorite part. Hmm, I wonder what I would do. I might do them sleeping at the end. That was pretty cute. Or maybe that guy up on the tree who was warning his brothers and sisters. I really like that part too, but you decide. You pick whichever part you want. All right, let's go through the pictures one more time, just real quickly, so you remember. I'll open it up to the very beginning. I'm not gonna read it, just for a reminder of what you learned. So there he is. Remember, he was long and thin. And how big is he? Yep, the size of a squirrel. There he is, getting warm, lounging on that mound of sand. Because remember, they don't like cold. Do they live alone? They do not. You can answer that one now. Let's see, what did they do all day? That's what the question is. Do you remember? What are they scampering out to do? Yep, to find food. You're right. What do they eat? Insects, spiders, and scorpions. Now, some of you might know that scorpions are dangerous, but they don't bother the meerkats. They don't make them sick. They think they're delicious, you know? They can't go to McDonald's. They love scorpions. The funny sounds, the cluck and murmur, murmur, peep. And my favorite, walk, walk when there's danger. What do they fear? What are the two things? Who can remember? Yep, eagles and jackals. And when do they sleep? Right before the sun goes down, they scamper back to their den. And there they are all snuggled together. Okay, good job listening and fill out your sheet. And that's what you have to do for reading today. Oh, the other thing is do some quiet read by yourself. See if you can find a nonfiction book. I bet you might be able to find one in your books or maybe brothers or sisters books or maybe mom and dad can help you find one. So that would be fun to read today. All right, I'll see you again maybe next Wednesday. Talk to you, bye.